And welcome back. It's time for this week's Capitol Report with Pat McGrigan of CapitalBeatOK.com. Pat, uh, you reported this week on the visit of a prominent Israeli rabbi to Oklahoma. Tell us about that. Yeah, Rabbi Shlomo Riskin, who's from Efrat, Israel, uh, met him um, a year and a half ago uh, in his hometown. He's founder of the Center for Jewish Christian Understanding and Cooperation. And he uh, spoke uh, Tuesday night at the Chabad Center uh, for the Jewish community here in Oklahoma City. It was a very tough speech about his deep concerns over the possibility of a nuclear Iran. And that was very much uh, uh, elevating and worth listening to. The biggest news that occurred during his visit here was undoubtedly the announcement that his center has uh, pioneered and is developing a curriculum that will be used in Israeli schools to improve and increase understanding between uh, Jews and Christians with an emphasis on modern Christian teachings that are inclusive rather than uh, pejorative uh, towards the Jewish faith. I look forward to learning more about this. He also delivered a beautiful opening prayer. He was the chaplain of the day at the oh. state capitol and he expressed hopes and called on moderate Muslims to renounce some of the horrible things that have happened recently, including those deaths in lit of um, uh, many Coptic Christians in Libya. Speaking of the, uh, the capital, um, why don't you uh, sketch out the, the big news of the week there at the legislature? Well, uh, if I was speaking objectively, which I won't in just a moment, but <laughs> again, first with uh, uh, some detachment, the big news of the week is undoubtedly the $200 million in additional shortfall, however you want to describe it, less income than they had hoped for from tax revenues. And uh, that uh, was pretty much predicted for about a week and a half. The Board of Equalization did indeed meet on uh, Tuesday, and they decided uh, that we've got a big uh, uh, budget hole that it's going to be hard to fill. Now, having said that, the biggest disappointment to Pat McGuigan uh, was I expressed hope at the end of the last uh, segment that we had of this program about uh, passage of education savings accounts. They were uh, defeated on a nine to nine vote with Ann Cootie, J.D. Nolan, Todd Thompson, Dennis Casey, and Katie Henke, uh, all Republicans contributing to the no votes. And uh, this raised uh, some questions. I will credit uh, Representative Cootie for answering uh, my concerns and answering my questions, but it, it's frustrating to watch Republicans oppose the Republican position, especially on something that the Speaker also cared about. All right, well, quickly, uh, upcoming city council elections, uh, you want to talk about one of the races there. Well, indeed, among the city races, there's only one incumbent who has consistently raised concerns and reasonable questions about use of taxpayer resources in the form of tax credits and special breaks for business. That one person is Ed Shadid. He actually reminds me of David Dank in the legislature. And for that matter, some people who call him Mr. Negativity, I'm reminded of those who called Tom Coburn Dr. No. Well, I'm positive that to keep an eye on the city's tax expenditures, the best man for the job in Ward 2 is Ed Shadid, and I'm going to vote for him. All right. Well. Um Appreciate that. And you can read more about uh, these and other com topics at capitalbeatok.com. For Pat McWiggin, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.